Hey everyone, it's Miss Butler. I have a video for you on empirical and molecular formulas. So the first thing, let's get some definitions. Empirical formula is um, a chemical formula that's written as the lowest whole number ratio. For example, um, C2H3 is the empirical formula of C4H6. So all we did was simplify this guy, we reduced everything by two to get the empirical formula. Whereas the molecular formula is the actual um, true ratio, true numbers of each element. So like for example, C4H6 would be the molecular formula because there's actually four carbons and six hydrogens. So empirical is the simplified lowest whole number ratio. The molecular formula is the actual chemical formula of what's there. Finding empirical formulas is pretty easy if you can remember this rhyme. So here it goes. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. Again, percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. So here's a pretty classic uh, empirical formula problem. Find the empirical formula for a compound which has 39.99% carbon, 6.73% hydrogen, and 53.28% oxygen by mass. So first step of the rhyme, percent to mass. So I'm gonna take each percentage and just turn them into grams. 39.99% carbon, is the same as 39.99 grams carbon. What we're doing here is assuming that the whole chemical weighs 100 grams. So if 39.99% of it is carbon, then 39.99 grams of it is carbon. We do the same for the others. 6.73 grams of hydrogen, and then 53.28 grams of oxygen. That's step one, percent to mass, then mass to mole. So percent to mass, mass to mole. So I'm going to use my mole island, and I'm going to go from grams of carbon to moles of carbon by using the molar mass. If I want grams to cancel, that has to go on bottom. The unit we want goes on top. And I do the same for all of these. 1.01 .01 grams, one mole is our molar mass for hydrogen. And 16.00 grams is equal to one mole for our molar mass for oxygen. When I do some number crunching, I get 3.33 moles of carbon, I get 6.66 moles of hydrogen, and I get 3.33 moles of oxygen. So percent to mass, mass to mole, next step is divide by small. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small. I look at all of these, 3.33, 6.66, 3.33, and I'm gonna pick the smallest one. In this case, 3.33 is the smallest number. So I'm going to divide each of these by 3.33. This guy we get 1, this guy we get 2, and this guy we get 1. At this point, we have our last step, multiply till whole. So percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. If these are not whole numbers after you divide by small, then we're going to multiply till whole. So for example, say like you get 1.5 for one of these. Like this guy, we would have to multiply everything by two so that they're whole numbers, okay? In this case, they all are whole numbers, so it's not necessary to do this last step. Last piece is to write the actual formula. We use these numbers as the subscripts, C1, H2, O1. There is my empirical formula for this chemical. So just to remind you, we got the empirical formula. All of these would be possible chemicals for this empirical formula. Because remember, this is just the lowest whole number ratio. So we could have the actual chemical formaldehyde where the formula matches the empirical. If I double everything, we get acetic acid, C2H4O2. If I triple everything, if I quadruple everything, or sorry, this is six times everything. Um, and so is this, my bad. I apologize. So if we leave it the same, we get this guy, empirical and molecular. If we double everything in both of these, just different formats, um, how the chemicals are, or how the elements are arranged. But if you six times everything, we get glucose or fructose again, depending on how the chemicals are arranged. Here's another one. Find the empirical formula for a chemical which has 72.2% magnesium and 27.8% nitrogen. So first step, percent to mass. 72.2 grams of magnesium and 27.8 grams of nitrogen. Percent to mass, mass to mole. I'm gonna use my molar masses for nitrogen, 24.31 grams is equal to one mole, which gets me 2.97 moles. 
and nitrogen is 14.01 grams per one mole, 1.98 moles. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small. Looking at these two, I see that 1.98 is my smallest. And when I divide 2.97 by 1.98, I get 1.49, which is just about 1.5. So now we're going to do this new step, which we were able to skip last time, multiply till whole. I can't have a subscript for magnesium of 1.50. I need both of these to be whole numbers. So what do I need to multiply this by to get a whole number? I need to multiply it by 2. That will give me 3. If I multiply this guy by 2, then I need to multiply this guy by 2, which gives me 2, because 1 times 2 is 2. Now I can actually write my formula using, oops, excuse me, go back using these guys. So I get Mg3N2 as my empirical formula. When multiplying till whole, if something ends with 0.5, you're going to multiply it by 2. If something ends in 0.33, you're going to multiply it by 3. And those are really the only cases we focus on. I suppose if we had a 0.25, we would multiply it by 4. Um, but the reality is we're it's a kind of a rare step, so if necessary, we will multiply to a whole, and it's usually going to be one of these two. All right, last one for empirical. I would love for you to pause the video and try this one. Let's see if you can get the correct answer. So really pause it, try it out. This is a good test for you to see if you understand. Hopefully you got BASO4 when we went from percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, and then in this case, multiplying to whole was not necessary. You may notice this wasn't perfect, right? But any we're going to round to the nearest um, whole number, 0 0.25, 0 0.33, or 0 0.5. So in this case, um, 4.005 was very close to 4, um, much closer to the whole number 4 than it was to 4.25. So we just rounded that to 4. Okay, so what if I ask you to find the molecular formula? Remember, that's the true formula of the uh, compound. Well, first step, you have to find the empirical formula, and we have a nice rhyme to help us with that. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. Then you're going to find the molar mass of that empirical formula. Um, and then by using the molar mass of the actual compound, which is usually given, whoops, let's try that again. Um, and then by taking the molar mass of the actual compound divided by the molar mass of the empirical, that will tell you how many times larger the, the actual molecular formula is. So you just multiply, multiple, let's try multiply, the subscripts of the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. All right, here's a great problem. Um, I have, let's do formula and molar mass. The empirical formula, so the lowest whole number ratio of an, a chemical is CH3. The actual chemical, so the molecular formula, has a molar mass of 75 grams per mole. I want to know what is the molecular formula of this chemical. So my first step is find the empirical formula. That's done for me. Now let's find the molar mass of the empirical. So if I take 1 times 12.01, plus 3 times 1.01, .01, I should get my answer of 15.04 grams per mole. What we're going to do next is we're going to take the molar mass of the actual chemical, the molecular one, which is 75, and we're going to divide that by the molar mass of the empirical, which in this case is right around 15. I want some whole numbers. What we get when we divide 75 by 15 is 5. What this means right here is that the molecular formula is 5 times bigger than the empirical. So to find the molecular formula, I'm going to take my empirical formula, and I'm going to multiply the subscripts by 5. So carbon was 1, 1 times 5 is 5. Hydrogen was 3, 3 times 5 is 15. This is my molecular formula, C5H15. Okay, this is the true test to see if you fully understand. I have an unknown chemical with a molar mass of 62.06 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of the molecular formula. 
The sample has 38.7% carbon, 9.62% hydrogen, and 51.6% oxygen. Find the empirical formula first, and then the molecular formula. So I want you to pause the video, find the empirical formula, that's step one. Then find the molar mass of your empirical, and then you will compare that with the molar mass of the molecular to help you figure out what your molecular formula is. Pause the video and I'll have the answer in a second. First step was to find empirical. Luckily, we have a nice rhyme. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small, multiply till whole. And with doing that, I was able to get the empirical formula of CH3O. My next step was to find the molar mass of the empirical formula, which was 31.04. When I divide the molar mass of the molecular, which was given to me in the problem right here, when I divide that by my answer for the molar mass of the empirical, I got a ratio of right around two, which means the molecular formula is twice as big as the empirical. By doubling my empirical formula subscript C2H6O2, I was able to get the molecular formula. Thanks for watching. Come with questions to class, please.